In this video, we'll discuss how you can take multispectral drone imagery and turn it into realistic, true color outputs in just a few steps. Now, if you're using multispectral imagery, you're probably starting out in something like Pix4D. And so that's what I use quite a bit. And I'll start off by showing how we can get the right input files um, using Pix4D. So first we wanna check on processing options before we do our processing. And in this third step, uh, for digital surface model, uh, ortho mosaic and index, uh, we want to go to the index calculator tab here and scroll down and find the reflectance map section. And then we need to make sure that we're checking the boxes for both GeoTIFF and for merge tiles. Uh, so make sure that those boxes are both checked. When that's all done, uh, we can hit OK. If for any reason you already did processing and those weren't checked, but now you want to make a realistic uh, RGB kind of map of your field, then you can go back to here, just check those boxes, click OK, go to the processing section. And so normally we would run all three of these main steps. If you had already run it, you could uncheck those first two boxes and then just run the third step. Uh, so. Then we do our processing. In this case, I've already done the processing. And so I can go here, we'll find those op those outputs in the documents folder, and then there's a Pix4D uh, folder within that. That's the default. Um, so then we can go and find the project. And then the outputs will be in this four index folder here. And we go to reflectance. And then you can see that you'll have several outputs there. Uh, you'll probably have more than this. I've actually deleted some that I don't plan on using. Um, and so we can click the ones that end with blue, green, and red. So those are the wavelengths of light that we see, and that's what we'll want to load into QGIS. And then we can open up a new project in QGIS and just, just drag those right into there. And now we can briefly check these. I think it's always a good idea to make sure that your images are what you expect them to be. Um, so we can look at this green layer. We can see that these plants look kind of dark, not super dark. We can uncheck that. We see that below it is blue and below that is red. And those plants are definitely not reflecting almost anything in the red. Um, so they're reflecting a lot more. It's brighter in that green. Um, so that's good. So we're just checking our images. That looks good. And then the critical thing to do here to, to merge these is to go to raster and then we can go to miscellaneous and merge. And then this is where we can load in those three different multispectral bands and make our RGB uh, merged layer. So I'm going to go here. Notice that they're in alphabetical order right now. So it's blue, green, red. So I'll check these three boxes. These won't be here unless you've already loaded these into your QGIS project. So make sure you've done that, of course. Um, and then we click OK. Um, it's also very, very important that you check this box for place each input file into a separate band. If we don't do that, then uh, your results won't look right. So it's very, very important that that box is checked. And then at the bottom, you might have to pull this up. At the bottom, we'll click Run. This usually just takes a few seconds, depends on the size of the files, of course. And so that's done. And now we can take a look at this. And when I look at this, I think, okay, it's close, but that's not right. Um, so here, I mean, this soil looks kind of gray, kind of looks like the moon or something, almost a little even purple or something. So that's, that's not quite right. But we do see the plants are green. And the reason why this doesn't look quite right is because uh, the default way to load these these uh, layers in uh, as different bands is alphabetically. And so we actually need to go and change it because it was blue, green, red alphabetically rather than red, green, blue. So we need to flip those. Uh, and so we can do that pretty easily by right clicking on our merged layer here. And then we can go to properties and you can see that there will be these three bands, red, green, blue. And so we need to flip these. So the red band was band three alphabetically. Uh, the blue band was band one. And then we click OK. And now that looks much more realistic. Um, so the soil out in that field is kind of this tan color uh, with green plants. Um, so 
I hope this has been useful for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.